And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 17th of February, 2022. It's the birthday of the novelist Ruth Rendell, born in London, 1930. She had a rocky beginning in her career as a writer. She was a journalist, and she was fired from that job after she wrote a story about a tennis league dinner without actually attending it, which was obvious since she failed to mention in the story that the keynote speaker had died in the middle of his speech. But she recovered. She went on to become the best-selling author of more than 50 books, many of them under the pseudonym Barbara Vine, novels that include A Judgment in Stone, King Solomon's Carpet, and Portobello. It's the birthday of the rabbi and novelist Chaim Potok, born in the Bronx, New York, 1929, author of novels about Orthodox Jews in New York City, including The Chosen, The Promise, and The Book of Lights. And it's the birthday of the poet and journalist and songwriter Banjo Patterson, born Andrew Patterson in Narambla, Australia, 1864. He was a lawyer who wrote poetry on the side. And it was Banjo Patterson who wrote the lines, There once was a swag man camped in the billabong under the shade of a coolibaw tree. And he sang as he looked at the old billy boiling, Who'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me? It was on this day, 1904, that Puccini's opera Madame Butterfly premiered at La Scala in Milan. The audience hissed and booed. The opera closed after one night. Puccini revised it, opened it later the same year, and the second time around, it was a great hit. It's the birthday of the man who said, A good sermon should be like a woman's skirt, short enough to arouse interest, but long enough to cover the essentials. The writer and priest Ronald Knox, born in Kibworth, England, 1888. And it's the birthday of the science fiction writer, Andre Norton, born Alice Mary Norton in Cleveland, 1912. Changed her name because she thought she could sell more copies as a man than as a woman. Many of her books were for young adults, and they were some of the first young adult science fiction novels to be read by adults as well. When she died in 2005, at the age of 93, she had written more than 100 novels. Here's a poem for today, a poem by Katha Polka, entitled Turkey Love. At the corner of our fenced yard, a tom fans his feathers, drops first one barred wing, then the other, sachets before our shed, a blue-faced matador, red wattles swinging as he taunts imagined rivals. It is pure theater, and we, his only audience, peer past the kitchen curtains, whispering, enchanted by the mysteries of wild courtship. Two hens, bored or unimpressed, peck under the bird feeder before sauntering away. Engrossed in his performance, the tom fails to notice their exit at first, then panics, dashing back and forth along the pickets, unable to find the open gate, deflated and frantic, a comic Casanova, sympathetic to his plight, knowing well how miscommunication leads to heartache. I stand on our deck, cheering encouragements while you go to his aid, waving arms to herd him out, because even turkey love deserves a second chance. Turkey Love, a poem by Katha L. Polka, from her collection Miracle of the Wine, published by Grayson Books, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.